Hey YouTube, this is Randy again with my Epic 4G. Um, trying out another ROM here. This one is uh, called Nebula ROM. And this is version 1.0.4. And it is December 16th. It's got your typical boot up and shut down animations. You get a choice between TouchWiz and Launcher Pro, which I always choose Launcher Pro, but you've got your standard lock screen here. And all in all, it's a very nice ROM. Uh, definitely easy to look at. Some cool little animations there in the app drawer. You've got the newer market. You've got the, uh, the new YouTube. And all in all, it's pretty, it's pretty quick. And you got your new market right here. And it comes uh, with wireless tether. Comes with your uh, your XDA app, which I use all the time. You've got spare parts here. Um, ROM manager comes with it, and we'll do a quick GPS here. Make sure we've got good GPS and everything on here. And there you go. It's got me locked in right there. It's exactly where I'm at, so very good. GPS works like it's supposed to. And we'll run Quadrant real quick. Do a few benchmarks and see what we get out of it. I'm getting right around 18, 19 frames per second there. About 42 here. Right at 56. And now uh, we're holding steady at 36 to 38. 56 steady. And right around 40, 41 here. And the score comes out at a 10.33. So now we'll go and run, go ahead and run SQL real quick. And in this case, it's going to be the the smaller the number, the better. It's actually counting how many how many seconds it takes to perform all the operations. So the lower the number, the the quicker it was capable of processing all the information. Uh, all in all, this seems like a really good ROM. It's it's easy to look at. It works like it's supposed to. Um, as far as benchmarks go, I really expect that they're all going to fall right about the same. Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I think the only ROM out with a custom kernel right now is uh, Viper ROM 3.0.3. So I'm I'm pretty sure all these are going to run about the same on the benchmark scores. This one should be finishing up right now. 42.284 seconds. We'll give you a graph to look at so you can see how that compares. There is this device at 42.284 seconds. Right here is a typical Galaxy S running Android 2.1. That one is at 148.7 seconds. And we'll run Linpack real quick. Thirteen point nine seven seven in six seconds flat. Fourteen point oh four five point nine seven seconds. And fourteen point oh eight seven in five point nine five seconds. So there you have it. Your uh, phone dialer is the same. Nothing's really changed there. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, besides using Launcher Pro and having a few extra things added into it. 
Uh, all in all though, great ROM. It, it works like it's supposed to, no complaints about it. And of course this is, uh, this is firmware 2.2.1. Uh, this is Nebula ROM, um, code name is Horsehead, and it's version 1.0.4. There will be a link underneath this video, so you can uh, go ahead and download it. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, this does use the DK28, so make sure you've, you've got those modem pit files installed or you will not have any service. Uh, like I said, if you need anything, go ahead and holler at me, let me know, and feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you, YouTube.